wood. I like the special abilities. I That's can cool. see that there is some weird kind There's of no way you can explore a massive city like this, bro. If they actually did that, I bet that'd be really cool, but I bet that's not what's going on. There's no shot that you can go around in this whole city. If you could, I, yeah, this has got to be a skybox. If you can, I'd play this game. Kind of, like, fracture This is not Spider-Man. ...over on the side, like it's opening up to some other kind of dimension. Yeah. And, oh! Oh, this looks... Wait, what the fuck? Can you run people so over? So this is, like, GTA. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> GTA, but instead of Grand Theft Auto, it's Genshin Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. I, I like mean, this. This honestly, you know, the, 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 the footage we've gotten from the GIFs doesn't look bad. I think the world... I feel like one thing that these games really miss out on, this is a problem that Wuthering Waves has. I think that it would be, like, Genshin is different because it's so character-based. And I, I don't really play it a lot, so I don't know. But, like, I think you need to have the spontaneous interaction of seeing other players in the open world. I do. I feel like that adds so much to a game like this. Like, it's so fucking important to me. Nah, I think so, man. Like, I remember all of my best interactions and all of the most interesting points whenever I played Blue Protocol were whenever I was interacting with another person. Same thing with Tower of Fantasy, same thing with any of these other games. I am a massive fucking advocate of being able to have an open world that other people are part of. A living, breathing environment. It doesn't mean it has to be a full-on MMO, but having an open space where other players, you can see other people in the open world, see what they're doing, interact with them. I think that's so cool, man. Oh, it's like yeah, and you needed to see how much whales are better than you. Exactly. It could... It could be kind of cool. It has the potential to be really cool. I, I think it it's very important. That, that kind of modern, dystopian, urban setting. I really so, I don't know if it's necessarily going to appeal to the same audience. I know Genshin, Wuthering, Tower of Fantasy, they all have very vibe. Oh, I mean, Wuthering Waves is very much the same vibe. I would say even Wuthering Waves goes even farther into the dystopian thing. Like, I, I, yeah, I mean, this is definitely closer to Wuthering Waves in terms of its, like, design than Genshin colorful fantasy settings where this doesn't but that might be what they're going for here they might be trying to set themselves apart from the open world mm -hmm. anime rpgs that already exist because let's be honest the, the genre is kind of becoming polluted by bright vibrant open world games and there's no reason to continue to try and compete for an audience that is already fairly set in their ways with the games that they play but i do think this is really cool there is an official i think people will always go and play the new game if it's good like everybody went and played honkai star rail whenever it came out Zenless Zone Zero, everybody is going to go and play that whenever it came out. A lot of people even played Tower of Fantasy. Uh, they played Wuthering Waves. Like, well, they didn't because it was like a beta, right? But like, people are interested in the game. Like, I, I think any of these games that come out, people will try it. Website, which is what I was on. 128 hours from the, when this video is being recorded, everything will be coming. brought I'll be light. on the front Unfortunately, it doesn't I'll look like there's shield. anything on their website other than the splash page. Yeah, I'll look we at do this. have three characters we can see. A few more if you factor in the characters from the gifts. One, two, three. I don't think that's the same character. Yeah, it's a different character. Four. And let's just assume there are like four dudes in that car. Like, th th it's probably not a girl that's driving that car. It's probably a bunch of drunk guys that just, <laughs> that just all, uh, this, I feel like this is kind of like a, an urban LA. And they're all trying to get to the anime expo. Is that so, right? Very little is known about the game right now. Other than the fact that it is an open world anime RPG. That is apparently going to be very similar to Genshin Impact. Maybe not necessarily Tower Fantasy because Tower Fantasy is an MMO. But more like Genshin. I would try this, sure. But like, as I said, I feel like if you have a game like this and there's not going to be a way for you to like interact and see other players out in the open world expectations and excitement go down for me a lot like I, I i don't know like that's just that's because like we already have games that do it without an open world this is made by netease so it does carry that netease quality and we all know netease is kind of a trash studio a trash developer a trash publisher so i i guess we're gonna have to approach this with 
a certain the chance of this being good is unfortunately it's not, not that very high, high. but yeah. they might surprise us it's unlikely but i'm i'm still kind of excited there have been some great okay there have been some games with some great potential from netties but they've ultimately failed to live up to that potential thus far but i mean they gotta they gotta have a hit at some point right this yeah they've, it's it's gotta be coming soon guys might be it now when all the information is made public i will have an updated video on this featuring everything a recap a condensed recap of everything that we know everything that we learned until then this is a brand new genshin killer i'm kind of excited to see what happens with it and if the genshin community the tower fantasy community the wuthering waves community is going to jump on this and bombard it with hate or welcome I think people are gonna hate on it for sure because like gotcha games well people are literally invested in them they've spent fifteen thousand dollars in Genshin Impact they don't want Genshin Impact to die because if it dies then all of their money doesn't matter now it never did but it especially doesn't matter if the game dies so yeah, of course people are gonna shit on it. Everybody always shits on the new gacha games. That's just how it is. There's only some of them, like the only time that they're viewed positively, which like I would say like Honkai Star Rail was viewed positively, it's because MiHoYo had already done Genshin Impact. And it was a very different type of game and the game looked pretty good. That was about it. I mean, what do you think? Do you guys think this is gonna kill Genshin Impact? I think more gotcha players need to realize competition is good for the consumer. Well, they, they're not gonna realize, here's why they're not gonna realize that. And here's why I think that you're wrong. It's because competition is good for the consumer, but it's not good for them, the individual. Like as an individual, competition doesn't help them and it doesn't make things better for them because they've already spent a lot of money on one game. So it's more important for them that that one game maintains the popularity rather than the game, uh, you know, the games in general are better. Gotcha players on their way to becoming sports game fans? Well, I don't know. I mean, Genshin Impact has a huge fan base. Nothing will kill it. I don't think so, man. Like, let's see. How many people are watching Genshin Impact? I'll link you guys the video. You can give a like if you liked it. I'll, I'll try this game out. I'll watch the announcement whenever it comes out. Trial of Tectone win, your chat is full of haters. I know I need to do it, man. I, I know. Where is this here? Okay, so Genshin Impact. I mean, it's got 10k viewers. That's not super crazy. Oh, is this the Femboy that everybody hates? Oh, I saw that. Let's see here. And uh, how many viewers does, like, Honkai Star Rail have? I think I saw it. Where the fuck was it? Honkai Star Rail... Uh, yeah, it's at 2k viewers. I mean, it's obviously beating Diablo 4, but that's not very hard to do. And, uh, I mean, where's Tower Fantasy? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I must have missed it, right? I mean, I had to have missed it. Oh, I did. It was at 400. Yeah, so it's just like, yeah, there you go. Old school RuneScape. Well, old school RuneScape isn't an anime girl gotcha, right? And then what about Wuthering Waves? Yeah, nobody's fucking playing that because it's a beta, right? And so it's not really a surprise. But Genshin is still like, it definitely has like a very big community. But I don't think that Genshin is as big as it was two years ago. I don't think Genshin is even as big as it was last year. I do think its popularity is kind of... I would say it's going down. Like, let me, I, I'm gonna, let, let's get the charts out, okay? Google Trends. I don't wanna spend like an hour doing this. I'm just gonna look at one thing, okay? We're just gonna look at Genshin Impact, okay? So here we go. And this is obviously in the United States. Let's look at worldwide. And then we'll look at uh, past day. Uh, we wanna look at past five years. Yeah, uh, prior to the patch, I feel like the interest was definitely pretty low. But again, this is obviously juiced by uh, uh, by COVID. Definitely juiced by COVID. Look at Honkai Star Rail. 